Hey up people, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, crazy. So I don't really know what vibe I'm going for today. Whatever, just wherever the makeup takes me. It's literally gone like five past midnight. I haven't filmed in a while because I've been doing other things and I really wanted to keep three weeks ahead, like schedule wise. So the video that just went up, chat shit get fit number five, is like my second week of videos that I have left. So after this week, I have one week of videos left and then I've got no content. I'm not gonna lose content this early on. So let's just get into it. I'm filming it, it's midnight. I have to literally do this, then have a shower, dry my hair, go to bed. I'll probably be in bed at like two, but whatever. Okay, so let's get into it. I literally was gonna wet my sponge today and I forgot. I'm gonna go wet my sponge. Didn't catch it that time. And we'll get right back. So my sponge is dribbling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I do actually have some things to talk about today. Very exciting. So the first thing I wanna talk about is a little thing called college. Yes, bitch. I passed my second haircut. Now this is a haircut that I've done literally like twice. Well, I've technically done it three times, but the first time, like, I failed at the first hurdle and I just couldn't get it right, so I kind of just stopped doing it. I'm a quitter. If I get frustrated at myself, I've just got to quit because I just get annoyed and I get, like, self-destructive, whatever, ramble. So I'm literally there, like, oh my god, like, this is the second time I've done it, so I was like, can I just do a practice? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. Dusted out that practice in literally half an hour. And it was perfect. Like, there was not a mistake at all. And she was like, listen, I know you said it was a practice run, but you did it in the time frame. It's perfect. We're just going to do that as an assessment, which is really good. So, so now onto concealer. So just to be real, I'm not going to be blending as much as usual because I just want to, like, speed through this as quickly as possible. The light might share all my secrets or it might look fine. So who knows? Okay, so we'll talk for a second. So I can't believe I can finally talk about this, but basically I've been working on something secretly for like the past two years, literally. And I've been very selective who I told because honestly, sometimes you shouldn't tell people stuff until you're ready to do it. Okay. To all the people that want to talk about, oh, I'm changing this. I'm doing this. It just gets to the point where you keep saying what you're going to do and you never do it and you look stupid. So I just like to wait until things are official before I talk about them. So now I can finally talk about it on my channel and let everyone know I'm working on music. So when I say I'm working on music, I literally recorded a song on Saturday. I've got a rough edit, which I'm not going to show on here because, you know, it's rough. And I absolutely adore it. I'm waiting on the final master, which I should get by the end of the week. So literally by the time this video is up, that song should be on Spotify. This is another really cool thing. So in school, obviously, I had like the very stereotypical gay upbringing, like, People told me I couldn't be myself. People told me I was annoying. People told me I was a degenerate. You know, all that kind of stuff. And now I'm into powder. So because people used to call me like a degenerate and stuff at school, like, you know, whether it was family, friends, I needed people that would support me and love me for just being myself. And it was this one teacher who literally was just a wonderful soul. It made me feel so like unique and that it was okay to just be like, whatever I wanted authentically and just be an asshole and as long as I was a funny asshole it's fine and he really taught me to be okay with being judged and because of him and other things I've been through like I'm so okay with people talking shit about me because at the end of the day like I'd rather have everyone hate me but know for a fact that like you get what you get or then have everyone love me for being like a fake bitch because I don't know like why would you want to have people that like you just because you're just fake, you know? Like, why would you want people to like you for illegitimate reasons? So, he was a brilliant artist, and I used to... It's so full circle, because I used to get him to, like, draw me pictures of Lara Croft and stuff, because I used to be obsessed with Lara Croft. I used to want to be her. <laughs> Even though I'm, like, super weak and lazy, but whatever. She was, like, my little fantasy moment. So, it's so full circle, but literally, as an adult, I'm contacting him, and I'm like, look, I have this project coming up. My computer's broke, so I can't make an album cover myself. Originally, I was just going to have it like a, a wallet, an empty wallet. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm like so broke. So this is the album cover that I'm talking about. Now onto contour. So when it comes to blush, I'm just going to do like this colour. Now to set the face. And now for highlight. Oh. 
maybe like a purpley gold stripper moment yeah so going in with just a like transition shade put that really high up like right above here so i've literally been going around showing everyone this song just having that moment go on and it's been so fun like honestly i'm just so excited that i can finally talk about it now that i have like actual concrete evidence of what i've been doing instead of just saying oh yeah i rap but really i just like write lyrics so using this purple i'm just gonna do this And I'm going back in a transition shade, just clean those edges. Now with this purple, just like go halfway into the eye and just deepen up the crease. And now with the black shadow. And now with a huge blending brush, just like blend everything together. Obviously this is clean. With like a flat brush, go back in with that first purple. Missing out just the inner corner. Go like halfway with that. And then with that second purple, go like the rest of the way so i've been watching bailey saurian at the moment and how interesting it just it's crazy to me because like you never know how close you are to a serial killer and i always think that like whether i've been walking to the street or just living life like how close have i been to like a maniacal serial killer like who have i met that's actually capable of killing someone scary i was going with this gold so now with the littlest brush I am, I fully thought I'd lost this brush, but I've still got it. I'm going to press gold into the inner corner and match it with that purple. So using one eyeliner, maybe two, line your lash line. You only need this line. So I'm going to move a black eyeliner, just line the lash line. So now just mascara. Okay, so let's out myself. I used to feel embarrassed about this, so I used to lie and say, oh my god, I'm allergic to latex, I can't. Bullshit. I just cannot apply false lashes, and it's not through lack of trying, because the looks that I enjoy, obviously, would benefit from false lashes. So I just have to, like, double up on mascara, because it's the only way I can get full eyelashes. Now I'm with a second mascara. Now for a lip liner. So yes, I messed up the liner a little bit, but I fixed it as much as I can. So that is the finished look. For a rushed vibe, it's kind of cute. I'm going to go charge my phone, have a cigarette, come back, and we'll do the final thoughts. So I'm back. <laughs> so I fixed my lip as much as I could without washing it off, and it looks fine. I, one more thing I want to address. Yes, it's looking cakey. I had to rush this video as quick as I could. It's now like five to one and i want to like film another video get a shower and like dry my hair and i'm gonna be a bit late and i was gonna be like by half two so this is the finished look i love the vibe of like gold and purple it's kind of like vampy like dark seductress you know like very that so i like the vibe so yeah this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just I guess this one was more like updating you guys with my life at the moment as opposed to going in with the goss and the details. So yeah, I like the vibe, I like the look, it's a moment, it's cute. <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it, comment if you're a nasty, and subscribe if you want to see more of this little gay boy in a newsfeed. <laughs> Bye guys! Mwah.